Time to play with some clay. Well, hello. Uh, this is a, a review of this particular instructional video that I've posted here. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a short review of uh, the video uh, that what's on the video that's located at Vimo. At the end of this video, I will show you how to purchase a video wire. And I'm going to combine the aluminum wire with bailing wire as far as for the armature. And I'm just uh, establishing how long I want to make this. Well, here I am uh, just making the armature, and this is two years ago, mind you. And uh, I'm using some, it looks like aluminum wire, but it doesn't, uh, it's not as uh, soft as aluminum wire, so I think it's probably steel wire that I'm working with. And here I'm mounting it onto uh, a board, uh, anchoring it in with uh, some screws. And then I start adding clay to it. I didn't actually put any kind of support behind the uh, figure because uh, it quite honestly was strong enough to hold itself up because the wire was kind of stiff. I'm going to do the Viking and I'm going to take this uh, sketch that I did several years ago. This one had a war bonnet and all that stuff. It was called uh, <coughs> Touch the Clouds. It was a particular uh, Lakota Indian uh, who was a cousin of Crazy Horse that I was commissioned to do by a gallery down in Jackson Hole in Park City. But I'm going to take this figure that I did. It's just a, you know, sketch that I wanted to work out the design before I went to the 36-inch uh, or 24-inch uh, tall figure. And I'm going to change uh, this thing and rework the figure and make a Viking out of it. Um, just a sketch for the one that I'll do later on. Originally this was going to be just a sketch, but it uh, worked out so well that I turned it into a, a complete uh, sculpture. And here I'm uh, just uh, starting the first face and head that I uh, did uh, on the uh, figure. I uh, later on uh, changed it completely, took off that head and uh, did it again. And I think it came out better the second time. Not being a Native American piece, it uh, has to have a different structure to the face size of the blade historically to a historical uh, blade or a sword that was found in Norway I, I believe and the blade was historically let's turn this off was 29 inches long from the uh, the uh, well it was 29 inches long and the handle was four or three and a half inches long so I've done that uh, to scale and uh, the handle would fit perfectly in his hand uh, working out uh, or researching swords and uh, working out the scale I don't want to make the sword humongous I want to make it uh, to scale I want it to look good uh, on the body again and get it as far along as I can so I can start putting clothing on it and uh, if I decide to put the robe on it, I can put the robe on it. I know it's hard to see because uh, of the black background behind the uh, black light, but it's a swing arm lamp, and uh, I've got it over the clay, and I'm going to darken up the uh, picture a little bit so that uh, you can see the clay. And I have my uh, 
clay underneath this lamp. And his hands right there inside the uh, circle. And use it like a plane on wood. Here I put clay on top of uh, the paper that I had as the armature or the pattern for the shield. Uh, you, you have to have something under the clay. The clay is just not strong enough to hold itself up. And so uh, I did that. And now I'm redoing the head of the uh, Viking. Uh, I'm well into the uh, face. I show much more on uh, the creation of that uh, face and starting it out and all that stuff. Here I uh, have uh, put the head back on the uh, body, and now I'm uh, adding hair and uh, seeing how it looks all together with the uh, shield. Did as I got some videos off of uh, YouTube showing people uh, in a uh, Viking garb over in uh, Norway at a village, reconstructed village. Viking village where uh, they wore traditional clothing and stuff like that. And I picked up on this uh, the leggings and I wanted to kind of emulate that onto this clay. Uh, also got some uh, information on the footwear they would have worn. Uh, these, that's actually a, an ancient uh, shoe right there and this is a reproduction similar to it. I'm going to make the pants roomy so I'm going to add a lot of material on here idea to change the angle of this uh, battle axe and I thought of bringing it down and just letting it sit on the edge of the uh, base. And the reason I thought of doing that is because it actually looks pretty damn good from every angle. Stuff. Can't see that working on a flat surface. On creating a uh, Viking, I hope I've given you some uh, points and pointers on how to uh, do things and make it look like something that it ain't. <laughs> That's all sculpting is, is just uh, making things look like what they weren't. It's a magician trick, just like anything else. It comes with practice, 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 and uh, you just can't say enough about that. You don't do it overnight. It'll take you uh, years to develop your abilities. And some of you will have such natural abilities that it will actually be faster the uh, time that you uh, can do something. Well, here's the segment uh, where I tell you how to purchase your in streaming video off of Vimo. This is just a temporary page right now because I haven't created the nine reviews of my current instructional videos uh, yet. And that's so, so this is just a temporary page just to show you an example of what you're going to see when you come to this page. There's a link below my daily YouTube videos 
that will take you to this page and here you will see uh, a three, all nine videos but I don't have them on here right now because uh, I haven't edited them yet <laughs> or created them yet but uh, there'll be nine videos uh, on this page right in this area here and uh, you'll be able to scroll down the page and, and, and review them all um, up here to the right is a drop down menu and will be listed all my videos I just clicked a little arrow down arrow up here and it will be listed all my instructional videos here and uh, it will you click on the one you want to purchase let's see if I can do this uh, say I want to purchase that one add to cart and it's, it's all through PayPal and I've got two videos that I've got listed here already on my uh, PayPal pre-order and uh, up here in the upper right there is a continue shopping and I can drop down the menu and click on another video add to cart and automatically you got the uh, third choice I've already made two choices and now I got a third choice and then once you get that done you click on the PayPal uh, button to continue uh, to the uh, checkout that's how you purchase my videos as soon as I, as soon as I receive notification from PayPal that you've uh, purchased a video I put together a uh, email to you with the link or with the title of the uh, video as well as the link to the Vimo video copy of it and the password now I also uh, inform you up here keep this email I send you to or print it out so you'll always have the link and the password for the video you purchased. You can watch it on Vimo as often as you want, as long as you have this. Thank you so much for your purchase. Of course, if you lose the email, you can always contact me and I can replace it. But it, uh, the, the receipt for your purchase is here and um, the link to the video like I just told you is right there and um, it's very easy you just click on that link and then it'll ask you for the password before you can start watching the video and it's just so simple and as soon as I get to it or I can I see the that you purchased something uh, I get the video out to you and you have it within seconds it is so much easier than the old way that I did it by DVD, which I can't do anymore. All right, that's how you purchase and how you receive your instructional videos or video. Well, that's it. And I hope this has been helpful to you in making your decision. But wait, I have a great deal for you and it's listed in the uh, list of videos that you can order. The deal is, if you order all nine, you get three unlisted videos that are great videos. I just don't have room on PayPal to list them, so I have to keep them in reserve. But if you order all nine of my videos at one time, you get three extra videos that are unlisted. Great videos. And... Uh, I think you'd really enjoy them and they're free the three not the nine <laughs> all right that's uh, gonna be it uh, I'm glad you watched uh, this video and I hope you found it interesting good day everybody